Oh my gosh, you guys, I popped the champagne. This is a very impromptu matcha with me slash pop a glass of champagne with me. You know, I had one single serve like celebratory bottle left in my fridge and I knew that there would be the right opportunity to pop it. And this is exactly the right opportunity because I can't believe today almost went by and I didn't even think about it. This is why you journal everybody. Today is Elemental Clarity's third birthday. We are going into year three. I consider August 3rd the day, August 3rd, 2020, the first day of my business because that is when my website went live. I remember it clear as day. I remember where I was. Oh my gosh. And so to think that I almost just totally glossed over this day. I have some recent feng shui adjustments and experiences to share with you. A lot of you have mentioned that you like hearing about like how feng shui actually shows up. What does the process actually look like? What is it? What besides these, all these articles you see and all these fast YouTube videos where they're just talking about like, do this, do this, do this. And because feng shui says so, I like to share with you and have these candid conversations with you about like what it actually looks like to do this, what you actually feel afterwards, etc. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And also I'm going to share with you some other like just big milestones that I think will motivate you on this journey to help you keep going, to give you some perspective on time. So let's get into it. First, I just want to say a really big thank you to everybody who is here and everybody who watches this video for more than 30 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> it's, I can't tell you how strange and yet like not strange of a feeling being on YouTube and being on Instagram is. I started both platforms from scratch, zero. I specifically did not tell any friends or family that I was starting a YouTube video. Maybe I told my best friend maybe maybe i told my mom i don't know i specifically didn't tell anybody because i wanted people who followed me on instagram and youtube to be like truly interested in feng shui to be truly interested in my advice i wanted it to be like extremely extremely organic and so these 1300 followers at the be at the filming of this august 3rd 2023 taping <laughs> that is truly organic people and so for that, I am like blown away because I never thought, I just never thought about this. This is a way where feng shui has worked behind the scenes and you never know how you're going to get to where you wanna go. Sometimes there's all these sprinkled in prizes and highlights along the way. So releasing control when you manifest is, this is why you have all these beautiful stopping points along the way that you never would have thought to ask for. I never would have thought to ask to become a YouTuber. So I just want to say thank you for everybody who watches this for more than 30 seconds, who likes my videos, shares my videos, comments on my videos. It is, it feels off like more often than not, I, it is just me and my phone and me talking to a screen. It looks kind of glamorous when these people have millions of followers, millions of subscribers, hunt, you know, even 5,000 subscribers, even a thousand, even having 1,300. It looks sort of glamorous to some people to have a following, but let me tell you, it is just me talking to my phone and then it's often crickets. Oh, and if you're wondering what my hand says, it's to remind me to take out the trash. <laughs> See, just normal life over here. I forget to put out the trash for the trash people. And I got to write it on my hand to remember. Creating a YouTube channel specifically, there's a reason that TikTok just like pops off and so many people have a lot of followers. Like this one is hard work in all the best ways. It's more rigorous. It's less instant gratification. It's the long game. If you guys remember my first year in doing this, I posted three videos a day and it is so much, and there would be like two people f watching it. It is so much me and my phone and crickets a lot of the times until something takes off and people comment. So I just want to say thank you so much because when you're watching it, it might seem like a bunch of people are watching it, but really it's just me, you, and my phone. And I appreciate every single one of you that is sitting here on the other side of this screen. I appreciate you so much, not only for your support, but I also appreciate you for watching things that help you be a better you. I appreciate you 
for trying to figure out how to make your home a better, happier home. And if you're watching my stuff for feng shui, then you know that I lean more into feng shui being a self-development tool and using it to improve your life in general and to just be the best you and to just, just squeeze out every single drop of bliss that you can get from your life because happy people help other people be happy. Happy people spread that happiness. I want you to totally love your life, be obsessed with your life. And it starts by focusing on you, creating a wonderful space. And so I'm just so thankful to you for consuming things on the internet that help you be a better you, that hopefully help you be such a good you that you end up helping other people. That's my mission in life is to help have you be so blissed out and obsessed with enjoying the journey on the way to your many destinations. And I hope one of those destinations is that you spread that joy you have for your life. So thank you for being here and thank you for watching this. Today I woke up like honestly not in the greatest mood. That's why I was saying it almost just totally flew by me that August 3rd was my business's birthday. <laughs> and I woke up thinking like why am I feeling, I was feeling so much energy just right here. I was feeling like, like my breath was short I was just, I was feeling short. I was feeling easily irritable. I was feeling just like tenseness and just like, I was like these shallow breaths. And I was like, why am I feeling this way? Like things are good, life is good. I, side note, just cleaned out a bunch of stuff from my grandmother's home in the last 48 hours. Went to Goodwill, donated a bunch of stuff. Stuff that has been here for over 40 years. God bless this home. It is a wonderful, beautiful home. My grandmother had wonderful, beautiful things, but she was not one for change. If anything, she just put more and more and more stuff in it. She didn't necessarily like rearrange and repurpose what she already has, which is what I usually say, what not usually, all the time say with my stuff. You don't have to buy more to create change. You can just rearrange and repurpose. But she was more of a collect and stuff. So to remove things from this home that have been here for 45 years, I know this as a feng shui practitioner, I knew I was gonna feel something. Initially you think, it's gonna feel just like light and relieving and it does. It feels light and airier when you remove it. But similar to your emotions, what comes up must be released. If you're feeling anxious about something, that emotion is a teacher. Listen to it, observe it. You are not your thoughts. You are not your emotions, observe it. Why am I feeling this way? Why am I thinking this way? And then release it if it does not serve you, if it does not, push you more towards who you want to be and where you want to go. Well, when you remove things that have been in a space for a very long time that are collecting dust, that are essentially clogging a home, and then you remove it, air or water, or, you know, if you have a clogged pipe and you remove something, things rush in, things come up. And when you remove things from your house, unless you are really present, and unless you are really here, you'll maybe not correlate the two. You maybe won't put two and two exactly together, but you will feel something after unclogging that portion of your house. And so today I've done this long enough and I've done it enough to run through the observing of emotion. Why do I feel this way? Everything's really good right now. Like what's going on? I was having these critical thoughts, kind of judgy thoughts, like, bad attitude thoughts, quite frankly. And I realized it's because of like where I'm unplugging things from, where I'm unclogging things in the house. So when you remove things from your house, don't see it as something bad. Where it goes wrong is if you remove something from your house, you feel a little icky, you feel a little like things are going on inside and you're feeling a little emotional and then you are like oh that was bad that was the wrong thing to do this is bad I feel bad this isn't working and you wade in those bad feelings but like I said it's what comes up is meant to be released what you no longer need and remove from your house and donate is meant to be released and given to another home so once I realized like Jeanette you just 
removed a ton of stuff from this house. It's been here for a very long time. It's going somewhere else. Like, of course you feel, and it was in my lucky success direction. If you don't know your lucky directions, you can find out your personal energy number. There's a link in the description of this video. You can find it out for free. But in my lucky success direction, I, so it's definitely a direction like associated with me, close to me, specific to my energy. So of course you're gonna feel things. So what do you do? I journal about it. I spend some time outside. I just observed and thought these critical thoughts, these judgmental thoughts, these pessimistic thoughts, these stuck thoughts do not serve me. And in the past, I definitely would have been in it for more like three days and maybe never come to a conclusion about what it actually means or what it's actually doing for me. But now that I know how energy works and energy is linked together and that like everything is energy, your stuff is just a bunch of vibrating atoms, you're just a bunch of energy and your external is a direct reflection of your internal, your internal is a direct reflection of your external, the law of correspondence tells us so. Once you like know all of that, you snap out of these things much faster and you get much more into how I feel manifests my reality. So how do I want to be feeling right now? What do I want to be manifesting right now? And it's not to say that you're never allowed to feel sad or anxious or angry because it's teaching you something. Your emotions are always teaching you something. But in my case, it was really shallow thoughts. It was really just quick things, similar to how this stuff needed to be quickly donated. These emotions needed to quickly come up and be released. I was like, yeah, no longer serves me. No longer serves me. That basket no longer serves me. That desk no longer serves me. This judgment no longer serves me. This lamp no longer serves me. <laughs> and so I quickly got out of it. And then on that note, I like came to the realization like a little bit later I was like oh my gosh so I had a clarity call today if you guys are not familiar I have a DIY feng shui program called feng shui your lifestyle it is a self-paced course where you can just DIY not even just it's a crazy amazing wonderful program and it takes you through feng shui beginning to end, and it also includes a lot of energy work that most feng shui consultants and most feng shui gurus and most feng shui blogs do not tell you you need to know. But there's a lot of personal and internal energy work that you need to know for your feng shui to actually work. So this course is amazing. This program's outstanding. I cannot hype it up enough. I've been doing this now for 10 years, and that course is exactly what I, everything I put into place to pay off my student loans in six years instead of 20, to pay off a car, to get my dream job, to manifest a 17, 20% raise when I was changing careers, like this course is everything. And this summer I offered this one time, we might do it again, I think it'll be pretty beneficial, but this summer specifically, Normally self-paced, I included clarity calls and clarity calls is once a week after each module, we get together as a group and we just discuss energy and feng shui and how we're feeling and stuff going on. And it was so cool that I, after like releasing my emotions this morning, realized today's August 3rd. August 3rd is Elemental Clarity's birthday. I count the day that my website went live as my official day in business. So August 3rd, 2020, my website went live. So we are at the start of year three. And to be getting on a clarity call for a feng shui program I created and to be like helping people to have 1300 follower subscribers on YouTube and like 1500 on Instagram and to be like helping th these people to be inviting me for my help so they can improve their life. It is, I don't, there's no words to describe how cool it is. And just this morning, I was feeling like it's not going fast enough. I'm not pushing enough. There's not enough going on. There's not enough money coming in. There's not enough this or this or this. Like, and that's the stuff I told you. I was like, what are you talking? Like, I was talking to me. What are you talking about? Everything is good. Everything's really good. And so then to clear it all and then regain the clarity of it's August 3rd. Look how much you've done in like 700. What's 360 plus 360? 720 days. This is why we should all be journaling. Definitely 
like for me specifically, I'm such a pusher, doer, achiever that if I don't journal, life just passes me by. If I didn't have this build your life resume calendar that I've talked about in a lot of other videos, life just would pass me by and I would not realize all the cool things I'm doing. Cause while I'm present, presence, like I am here. So I am not reminiscing about the past and I'm dreaming a lot about the future and then I am here. But I'm really not good at like slowing down. I just always like wanna keep going and helping more people and making a bigger impact. And uh, this is why I just recommend the journaling because I know there's somebody else out there that's like this and you are gonna start a business that you dream about for so long and then not even celebrate that you made it to a year three. Oh my gosh. So, okay, moving fun moving things in your house, feng shui might bring up some emotions. Observe the emotions. It doesn't mean you let did anything wrong and see how you feel after 30 days. There's a lesson, like tip for you. Journal so that you remember how far you've come in 365 days. Oh, it's 365 plus 365, not 360 plus 360. So whatever that is, 730 days, journal so that you can actually, when you're feeling like, oh my gosh, like me, all this energy right here of just like shallow breathing and like not enough has happened, just this chatter in your mind, you can look back, oh my gosh, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. I can tell you I have, I am very proud of myself I didn't feel like that this morning, but when you slow down and you look at these things, like this is why you journal because you should be proud of yourself. I guarantee you, you've done so many things you should be proud of yourself for journal. I definitely have more to say probably for another video also about how much your identity has to change. To so think of who I was August 3rd, 2020 to who I am now. I mean, I recently did my blood work and looked at my blood work and all my levels, you know, your iron, your vitamin D, your cholesterol, all that stuff. And it is like perfection, not to brag, but I meditate like crazy. I cut out alcohol like crazy, a little, a little ironic because I have a single serve champagne today. I used to drink a lot, especially around the start of my business when my dad passed away. It wasn't intentionally numbing, but it was also a pandemic. And it was like, you know, we're all kind of bored just trying to have a good time. And I had a couple other reasons to try and have a good time and ignore some other things. So the people that I have had to say goodbye to, the bachelorettes and the weddings and the things that I've had to say goodbye to because the money needed to go to the business, leaving my home in Dallas. I mean, this is a family favor, but leaving to come and help here like the things that have had to change to chase your dream to follow your dream and to make your passion the big you know the thing that supports your life fiscally there are a lot of things that and and it's not even sacrifices because in the end when you look at it at the time it might feel like a sacrifice but it has only like catapulted and sped up how quickly I accomplish things because I just cut it out quickly. You could slow fade the alcohol, you could slow fade the bad friendships, you could slow fade the change and you'll change and you'll evolve and things will happen for you still. But when you just quickly cut these ties and you make a decision and you lean into it, boy, does that, progr that progress just 10X and boy, do the blessings that roll in just 10X and to think that when I started this business, it was like two years of like, I am not dating. I'm not thinking about a boy. I could care less. I have never been less interested in finding a companion than I was these last two years. And for it to just overnight, like I met somebody who is just, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I think I may be only, oh no, I mentioned it over here, not over there. So you guys are filled in. I'm not saying too much about it, but like for that to just like have happened and been great quickly, life comes at you fast, especially when you make decisions fast. Lean into your decisions. Trust that life is happening for you, not to you. Trust that you deserve all of your desires and boy will the universe reward you.
And I recommend changing to make your dreams happen. You know, a lot of these mental things and limiting beliefs and stories I have had to evolve and grow through, and I really recommend it. If you have any questions, if you ever need anything, comment them, share these videos, like these videos, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and come along for the ride. A ride that will only help you become your best self.